Hello viewers. Here is a General Electric clock radio. This is model number 7-4666A. And um, we're going to be restoring this today. And I'm going to use this in the bedroom. Reason being is because this clock has forward and backwards buttons for setting the time. And that may sound kind of worthless, but when you have different shifts and some of them are a few hours earlier than the others, not having the, the reverse button is quite a pain in the rear when you're trying to set the alarm. So, because um, the clock I have now only has forward, so if I have to get up two hours early the next day, I gotta cycle through 22 hours to reset the, the clock. And I'm getting tired of doing that. So I got this one down here, it's not doing anything. Figured I might as well clean this one up, and we'll use this one instead. Now this one has a few issues. Plug this up and you can see. Um, for one, the brightness control uh, doesn't work. It's a little finicky. If you hit it a certain way, it'll, it'll kind of work. Um, it's got a dial on the back for that, so that's having an issue. The radio switch. AM is okay. But the frequency is not. So we're going to have to check that out. And uh, other than that, I think it's okay. It's just really dirty. So let's go ahead and see what we got to do to get inside this thing. Okay, all the screws are undone. And it looks like this is just going to lift off of here. Let's see here, this, this goes like that, or does it go like this, it's going to go like that, and I'll remove the speaker here, now it's dust galore in there. Uh, this is a pretty sizable driver for a clock. Not bad at all. I wonder why these things sound so good. One watt, 16 ohms. So here's the front cover. I'm going to remove some dust from this thing. I think the rest of this can just be washed. Oh, this is uh, this is kind of exotic here. This tuning mechanism. appears to have a string that goes uh, that manipulates this. This whole this the whole thing here is, is manipulated by a string. That is albeit that's very clever. I actually it seems like it's still pretty strong too. That's very, very clever. All right, so um, I'm gonna clean these buttons off. I don't know how easily these come off. They hear me not very easily. So let's see. We'll try removing this. Oh, jeez. Yeah. 
some more screws under here. Something tells me this is going to be a total pain to put back together. to work the way it is working now is probably not going to be easy. Looks like an unnecessarily complex thing that's going on there. Um, now, the other thing we got to look at here, this is the switch that was, that was having an issue with the uh, static, so we can spray some cleaner in there. Probably fix that fairly easily. Um, I want to pull up this board and investigate what's going on with that potentiometer there because I'm not getting any dimming in the display and I'm one of those people that doesn't like light while I'm trying to sleep so I really need this to be able to dim. We may be able to get a good look at that. Well, at that crazy tuning mechanism if I lift up this board. slack to work with whatsoever. So there's the tuning mechanism. <laughs> yeah there's no way I'm going to even give a second thought to undoing that. It's brilliant, I'll give it that much. But I don't know how it works. And so therefore I don't really want to mess with it because it's okay. So, yeah. I want to look at this here. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm going to look at these uh, joints on there and see why that's not working the way it should be. Maybe we'll reflow those and just give everything else a good cleaning and then we'll, we'll clean that switch out as well. Okay, so we're almost done here. Didn't get a lot of video of the actual work itself because it was very 
boring and tedious. What in the world? Uh, but I have made several repairs, and so let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So the uh, brightness control has been repaired. Let's get this back on the potentiometer here. Okay. Let's just get this to stop flashing here so it's easier to see. Hello. What is the problem here? There we go. Okay. Now that looks bright in the video but it's not. It goes very, very dim. So, that's fixed. All I had to do is spray some deoxid in there. And that kind of came clean real easy. And it's working correctly now. The other thing that was repaired was the modulation switch here. Let's go ahead and switch this on. Jeez. And that is the Blues Traveler for you here on this uh, sunny Saturday afternoon. And you're tuned to 89.5 FM WPK. It is switching fine. So I believe that was the only thing that was wrong with this. I have cleaned all the components. Cleaned up fairly nicely. So we're ready to put it back together. And this may be kind of an interesting thing to assemble because it is fairly intricate. Okay, so that finishes that up. Let's go ahead and plug this in and give it a final test. Still a little cleaning I gotta do. I gotta clean that junk off the bottom. I missed that. And the cord and plug need to be cleaned. But we can still check out. Oh, I gotta put this on too. Okay, so we have the test of the brightness here that is working and be easier to see if it was constant okay that works um, all the buttons are working So this is a successful repair.